Real women murders, not fiction. Love women, don't kill them. Giving real women, unknown women, recognition to the world. Please support our channel and please, please subscribe. Now to our big story at nine, she was shot in the head right inside of her own home. And tonight, her family is begging for help in catching whoever pulled the trigger. Our Sam Kramer live in Wauwatosa where the victim is still hospitalized. Sam? Yeah, hi there, Mary. The family of 26-year-old Asia Dennis says she is a loving person and was just so full of life. But now doctors, nurses, and machines here at Frederick Hospital are quite literally keeping her alive is now her family just wants justice. She's fighting, she's fighting so hard. She's fighting so hard. And whoever did this is still walking around here living like they just okay. This is not okay. As her family navigates a nightmare. This is not okay. Erica Brister balances pain and heartache with the unknown. Her younger sister, 26-year-old Asia Dennis, is still in the hospital after a shooting on March 4th. She says Dennis's brain is only functioning at 1%. She doesn't look like herself. The swelling on her head is so tremendous that her heart can give out. Her left side is shattered. There's no repairing it. Brister says her sister went to a party Friday night at a bar near 91st in Silver Spring. Around midnight, Brister says Dennis made it home where she lives with her dad near 16th and Lincoln. He noticed she was drunk and had someone else's keys. Then a couple hours later, he hit a door being kicked in and the glass break and the door swing open. Brister says two women broke into their home after five o'clock Saturday morning. They took the keys, but that wasn't enough. No, I'm, I'm finna kill her. I'm finna take her out and reached right over my dad and shot my sister right in the back of her head as she was walking off. Now she hopes sharing the story will help someone who knows something to come forward and say so. I want justice for my sister. And Brister said Milwaukee police have been helpful in keeping the family informed of the investigation and any relevant leads that they're chasing. We did reach out to Milwaukee police for an update on that investigation tonight, but we did not hear back. We're live in Wauwatosa, Sam Kramer, Fox 6 News. Absolutely heartbreaking story. Sam, thank you.